karibu tena ni saa tano sasa na dakika mbili ishara tosha kwamba umewadia sasa wakati wa kuzamia mada yetu ya leo hii leo tumekuarifu kwamba ulimwengu unaadhimisha siku ya uaviaji mimba salama ha, tukiangazia taarifa ambayo tunataka tuizungumzie kabla ya kuingia katika mada ni kwamba shinikizo alipo ha, kwa namna ya kupata huduma hizi kama haki za wanawake humu nchini Kenya hata hivyo mdahalo umeendelea kuhusiana na uaviaji mimba huku wakereketwa wa haki za uzazi wakisherekea uamuzi ulozuia kukamatwa na kuchukuliwa hatua kwa wanaotoa huduma hizi mwanahabari wetu Brenda Wanga anatuarifu mengi katika makala yetu maalum ambayo huenda yaka katizwa baada ya wataalamu wa Kikristo kuelekea mamlakani kupinga uamuzi huo Katika kijiji kimoja eneo bunge la Ganze, barabara hii mbovu inatupeleka katika nyumba ya familia iliyo kwenye darubini kufuatia uamuzi wa haki ya kupata huduma za kuavya mimba kwa mwathiriwa na wahudumu wa afya. PK kama alivyotambuliwa kwenye kesi mahakamani sasa ana miaka 19 na amemaliza shule ya upili. Lakini miaka miwili iliyopita safari yake ya kupata elimu Nusra isitishwe alipopata ujauzito akiwa kidato cha pili. Familia yake haijiwezi na mzigo wa elimu ukawa ni wa nduguye mkubwa lakini wakati huo alishikwa na hofu na uoga endapo nduguye angejua. Hata kuendelea kusoma. Kwa sababu brada wangu ajua kama nilikuwa mjamzito. Ngo nikuza pa nyumba na afuma nende kama ile malipo kuka. Tena kama ko kuyafia. Huu ulikuwa mwanzo wa hali ambayo huenda ingekatiza maisha ya PK. Nikakundua kwa kuna ujauzito. Nilemwa kutafuta ushauri kwa marafiki. Sasa kanaambia madawa kutuma hiyo mimba itatoka. Ningekuwa bradangu angejua kama niko mjamzito. Ndio inampa niondoke hapa nyumbani nitafuta mtu wa kukaa. Na sikuta kama hivyo. Binti huyu alikunywa dawa alizopewa na rafikize na hapa ndio mambo yakazidi kwenda mrama. Asilipotumia siku yake ndo nikaanza kusuchungu. Nikaanza kubleed na sikuta kama mtu ajapa nyumbani. Sikuwa ndio hata mstasi nikatoka tayari mpaka hosi. Ndio kwenda mlezo daktari. Wazazi wake hawakufahamu hatari iliyokuwa ikiendelea kwa binti yao hadi siku mbili baadaye. Salim Ismail Mohamed ni afisa wa afya aliyesajiliwa wakati huo akihudumu katika kituo karibu na nyumbani kwa kina PK alikuwa kazini siku hiyo I received a patient who had a pregnancy complications so I uh, treated her like any other patient that is treated in the facility so after examination investigations and uh, thorough examination we found that uh, she had lost her pregnancy and uh, she was bleeding and uh, she was in pain so we admitted her Maafisa wa usalama wakamtia Mbaroni mwathiriwa na afisa huyo wa afya. Baadaye kesi ikamwandaa Masalim na PK akazuiliwa kwenye mahakama ya watoto. We stay there for a day or two then we are arraigned in court whereby we were um, I was uh, charged we are charged separately abortion. Wakipinga hatua ya serikali ya kuwakamata na kuwashtaki wawili hao kwenye uamuzi uliotolewa mapema mwaka huu. Ni uamuzi ambao umegeuza mdahalo wa nafasi ya waviaji mimba na huduma za baadaye nchini Kenya. Shirika lisilo la kiserikali la Center for Reproductive Rights lililowasilisha kesi mahakamani likitaja uamuzi kuwa ushindi mkubwa. To the constitution and to facilitate women and girls to access abortion as 
prescribed in the Constitution without unnecessary limitations, without unnecessary restrictions. Mm -hmm. The court also declared that the communication between a provider and the patient is privileged and protected in law and cannot be forcefully accessed and can also not be used to charge a provider or a patient for any criminal offense. Hata hivyo, kundi la watalamu wa Kikriston chini limepinga wa muzi. Charles Kanjama ni wakili wao. The main idea of the Malindi uh, court judgment was to say that there is a right to abortion. And those are words that have not been used in any Kenyan law before uh, the Malindi decision. So it basically meant that uh, there is a right to kill the unborn child. This was the implication of the Malindi judgment. Waviaji mimba usio salama nchini umetajwa kusababisha vifo vya watu 2600 kila mwaka hii ikiandikisha vifo saba kila siku haswa kwa jamii za wasiojiweza kama PK wataalamu wa Kikristo wana matumaini kuwa rufaa yao waliyowasilisha mahakamani itafaulu ili kulinda haki ya maisha lakini kwa wadau wa afya ya uzazi hii itavunja hatua zilizoafikiwa katika swala ambalo bado ni donda ndugu nchini Brenda Wanga 